Hello, welcome to Live Long in Color. I want to thank everyone for stopping by today. I also want to thank all of my subscribers. You are also very greatly appreciated. Today is my uh, monthly supply haul video. I am a couple of days behind. I wanted to do this on Sunday, but it's now Wednesday, so I'm a little behind. But it's here, and this is everything that I bought starting mid-October through mid-November. And the first thing I want to show you is this case. I bought it. It is a, I wrote this down, Bomb Key Coloring Pencil Case, 220 slot pencil gel pens, organizer, waterproof travel case, zipper carrying, portable pencil markers, pen holder bag for painter, writer, school students. And it is the squirrel design. This cost me around $20 on Amazon. They had a coupon for 10% off. Um, the reason that I bought this is because I bought this gel pen set, the Sue Color gel pen set, and this case was just awful. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but the paint smeared. The minute I opened it up, I got white paint all over my hands. I tried taking it off. It didn't really work that well. And then the other thing was that it had a smell to it that I don't, I'm very kind of sensitive to smells. So it gave me a headache every time I opened it. So I said, nope, I don't want to use it. And I got this case. So this case is, it has just one massive zipper compartment. It is the one that would normally store three pencils per slot. This one um, has, uh, sorry, this one, if I'm storing my gel pens, will store two gel pens per slot. I'm using it to store also my um, twistables pencils in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots per uh, page, I guess you'd call them. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages worth. So it holds quite a bit. Um, It's a little awkward when I'm using it. I'm used to, this is the other one I have. This is the shoe lantern. And they both cost around the same price, around $20 on Amazon. This one, has each zipper compartment has its own separate compartment. And there's just one gel pen that fits per case. But they're the larger ones, so they do fit the gel pens um, nicely. I prefer these, this this kind, because I can just open it up to the side that I want. I have my Teo Trees on one side. I have my Aeon, uh, Aeon Art on the other. And then over here I have my uh, Sparkle Pops and my Glitter, my Flare Glitter and my, what are these? My Jelly Rolls. So I prefer this, but this one here has some nice features to it. It has a pocket in the front that the other one doesn't have. And it also has a zipper on the back. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying using it. It's working out pretty good. Um, now what I bought it for is I bought it for those suit color glitter gel pens. This is what they look like. They each have a name and a number on them. Um, I swatched them out. Here is my swatching for them. Um, I can say that if you look at them on this cardstock, they come out looking a little scratchy. But I think maybe it's the cardstock that I'm having problems with because I used them on a page that I did this month and it was that Amazon printed paper and it worked better. So I'm wondering if maybe I'm having problems with using um, the gel pens more on the cardstock than I am on the other type of paper. But for the most part, I like the colors. They have a pretty good selection. 
and they they work pretty good. Um, they also came with, and this is why I like the zipper compartment on here. Oh, I'm getting crooked. Here we go. They came with these refills. Each pen had a refill, which is nice. And it also came with this little coloring book. And it's a cute little coloring book. It has various different types of pages in it. Um, I wish it wasn't double-sided, but I do plan on coloring here. Probably use my super tips or something like that in here and see how it goes. So yeah, I don't remember how much the um, gel pens cost, but they were on sale when I bought them. And I was a bit afraid when I first bought this that I had too much in it because it was a little hard to close. But the more I use it, the, the easier it's getting to close these. So yeah, I would recommend it. It's a nice case. Um, so that's that. Next, I'm going to go into my different uh, pencils and markers that I bought. First thing I want to do is these are the ink tents. I bought five more. Um, I had a set of six and I wanted to buy a pink and um, sort of like watercolors, the colors I could use for water, and a brown. These are all of the ones that I have, including the other six that I bought. Um, this brown is pretty light. I'm thinking I don't want to buy a whole set. But I would try to like to try and find a lighter blue if they have one and a darker brown. And then I'll see how it goes. I, uh, I probably won't use them that often, so I don't really feel the need to buy a big expensive set of these. We'll see how it goes. I may also buy another green, a lighter green on that. Okay, that's that. And then I bought these. Blick Studio brush markers. I bought them on the Blick website. Um, they were on sale. These 12 were $16.97. And right now when I went up, looked it up, it was like 30 some dollars, $30 and some odd cents for this same exact set. So I got a pretty good deal, which is the only reason I bought them. They're normally like $3.95 a piece and they're uh, $3.56 if you buy six or more. Um, I haven't used them other than I just swatched them. And I got eyeshadow on it from the eyeshadow that I bought. Um, but yeah, they're okay. I, won't, I don't plan on buying any more. I think they're a little pricey. I'd rather buy Copics. You can buy the Copics for around the same price. And I think I'm gonna stick with those. Speaking of Copics, I bought these. Now what I'm doing is I'm recycling my spree marker case for right now to use for the Copics. I don't have that many. Um, these are the sets that I had previously. I had the skin tone set. This cost me around $23. Um, I had the pastel and the primary. Those both cost around $18 something. I got them and they were a pretty good price, which is why I started buying them. And then I bought all of these this month. It was my birthday month, so I splurged a little bit. And I wanted to buy, um, I bought a couple of greens, a couple of blues. I bought some light grays, a warm gray and a cool gray. I want, um, I use these a lot when I do white, like snow or clouds or stuff like that, so I, I wanted those. I bought a dark brown and a regular brown, purple and a pink, and a red and a yellow. I plan to buy all their yellows because I use a lot of yellows. I also use a lot of greens and, and blues. So 
my plan is, and here are the ones that I have swatched out. My plan is to buy a few every month. Um, I also, this last month, bought a few of the uh, ink refills. And I think when I was doing the math, they're very expensive when you buy them up front. Like if you were to buy a whole set, it would cost you a lot of money. But what I plan to do is buy a few at a time and just pick and choose the colors that I want. And then with the refills, it actually is, is fairly inexpensive if you take into account um, how many times you can refill a pen with this ink refill. So I'm going to see how that goes. Um, so far I've enjoyed using the ones that I have and I plan to buy the uh, refills for some of these skin tones soon because I think I'm going to be using those a lot on my pictures. So that's what I bought as far as Copics are concerned. And then I bought these. I have been wanting to try the Faber-Castell Polychromos forever. And they're, they're another one that's kind of pricey. Um, I bought this set. It was $20.48 for 12 of them. But I always wanted to try them, and so I decided to go ahead. It was my birthday, and I decided I was going to go ahead and buy this small set and try them out. And I must say, I love them. I didn't swatch them, but I did do this picture. I love the way it came out. I love the way they colored. And I will more than likely be buying more. I just have to decide whether or not to pay more for each individual pencil and buy them piecemeal which would ultimately cost me more money but I won't have to put out a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars up front for a whole set and I might not have I might not buy all the colors so yeah I'm I'm debating on what to do there um, but I do plan to buy more because I, I absolutely love them I love how they colored then I bought these. I bought the black Posca. Um, I bought them because sometimes when I use the metallic markers, it covers up the black lines. And I want to go back and uh, recreate them. And when I try to use a marker, that doesn't always come out well. So I'm hoping that these will work for that. And then I bought these Signal Uniball White. I love these pens. I bought the Posca and I didn't like them as much. I like these to use these better. Um, they're just easier for me to control. And I really, really like that's getting a glare. Really like using them. Okay, so that's it as far as markers and pencils are concerned. Next is the coloring books. We'll start with this one. Okay, so all of these I did not buy in one month. I have a monthly subscription to the Coloring Heaven and they got lost in shipping and I never received them so I contacted their customer service who were great and they resent them. So I got a bunch of them all in the, in the last month. This is the Fantasy Figure Special which I really like. There's some very beautiful pictures in here really pretty That's so cute I like that when they have gentlemen pictures and not just all women oh I like this one very steampunk okay so that was the fantasy figure special then there's the unicorn special the fantasy figures was by Maud Lemoyne, and this one is Heller, Heather B. Hick, Hitchman, Selena Fennick, and White Stag. And these are all the pictures, unicorns.
they're nice. I'm sorry, I should be going like this. There you go, you can see them. Oh, and then now, of course, they go back. <laughs> so that's the unicorn special. This one I love. I have always enjoyed looking at everybody's pictures from the Ink House book, but I never really wanted to buy it because I kind of figured I would never um, color in it. But I like the fact that they have some pictures. This whole magazine is dedicated to the Ink House, so maybe I'll try my hand at coloring a few. I like how he's dunking his cookie or his biscuit, as you would say if you were in Britain. So yeah, this is really nice and I was really happy that I got it finally. Okay, so that's the Ink House Special uh, by Rory Dobner. And then last but not least is the Halloween Special. It's from Hannah Lynn, Ennis Guerrero, and Sarah Richter. Some of these are pretty spooky. I love this anime style. So, these are nice. And from what I can see is there's more than just the authors or the artists that I mentioned. So it's a bunch of various different ones. These are the Hannah Lynn's. Which I don't have the Hannah Lynn uh, Halloween one, so this is nice. I don't have any of these. So I didn't get it in time uh, to do it for Halloween, but I will have it for uh, next year. Then I also had um, bought these from the Book Depository. These are another one that got... This is what happened. I have a very hard time with my post office here. There is a street um, fairly close to ours that has a business on it that has the same street address. And for some reason, even though the street names are nothing alike, the post office wants to try to deliver to them instead of me. And since it's a business with multiple suites, they have a tendency to send things back saying that it is um, incomplete address. So these were sent back. I had to contact Book Depository and they were nice enough to send them again. I felt bad, but I didn't receive them and they got sent back. So um, I bought this one because the pages are single sided and they had a lot of cute pictures from um, the different movies. So I really liked it. This one is Vamos, Vamonos de Fiesta. And it's the Spanish version from Hatchet Heroes. And then I also bought this one, uh, which is Felinos, which is cats. And I'm looking forward to coloring in that. Um, if you don't want to see the um, answers, I'm going to show them right now just a few so these are nice looking forward to coloring in this one and then I have um, two Christmas that I bought I bought this one I'll put that over there because it's getting a glare this is the large print Christmas black background by uh, color Questopia I kind of regret buying the black background these are all the bonus. Um, here we go. They're okay, but I wish I would have bought the white. I think I would have liked this better with the white background. Some of these pages. But I do like it. They're cute pages. Easy to color. And I will probably be coloring quite a bit in this next month. And here's another one that I think would have... Uh, like this one I don't know why but I think I would have liked it better but maybe once I color it in the picture the, the picture comes popping out from all the color it'll look better we shall see and then I have this one 
Stained Glass Christmas by Such and Such Diva. I can't remember whose channel I saw it on, but they did a flip through and I just fell in love with it. I love the stained glass um, motif on all of the coloring books as it is. And I thought these were cute. So I went ahead and get it. I don't plan on buying too many more Christmas books. Um, I might buy a couple more. I think he is coming out with a um, mosaic one that I might buy. And he is also coming out with a paper cut one that I might buy. I will have to see. But for the most part, I'm not really big into Christmas. So I probably won't buy too many Christmas books. But that's it. So Okay, so hopefully this video isn't too choppy. I um, had finished it, recorded the ending and everything, and then I realized I left a few things off that I had bought that I wanted to show you. Uh, first is these cutting mats that I get at Dollar Tree. They're really good for when I use and I'm cutting the washi tape and they protect the table and keep me from cutting everything. They last pretty long. There's two in each one and they're only a dollar so they're pretty good i had a hard time finding them though i had to go to a couple of different dollar trees um before i found it the other thing that i had a hard time finding were these um uh, eyeshadow applicators that i wanted to try out for the eyeshadow that i use for the background and for the most part they work okay i like them for in the small spaces i don't really like them for um doing large spaces and i'm um, hopefully one of these days i will do a little demo on how i use use my uh, eyeshadow and different backgrounds so that's that and then also from dollar tree i got a okay you know it's not going to be a video uh haul video unless i have washi tape so i got this this will be really nice to use around valentine's day and this one little bands this one the flower power um these dinosaurs let's see i don't know what these are supposed to be i think they look like yo-yos to me but they could be like um you know like powder puff type things I don't know and the sharks and last but not least this one the summer one so yeah I really like the the Dollar Tree um, washi tape I haven't been using them much because I kind of use the other ones first my my uh, pen and gear but yeah I look forward to using these and then I bought these two, these two eyeshadows. I bought this one from Walmart, Citrine. I wanted some yellows because I use yellow a lot in my background. So I thought this was nice. I had a lot of yellow and oranges. And then this one, I wanted some green. So I bought this and I had to have them ship them to me because I didn't have them at my local Walmart. And this one right here just broke and it got everywhere. So I'm going to have to open this and see if i can uh, salvage you know clean it up and salvage it i'm not going to return it or ask for a refund or anything because it's really i probably wouldn't have used that color much anyway i bought it for the greens so that's that and then uh last but not least i have the puzzles that i bought this month i bought this one these cute cats at the beach i thought it was adorable and then I bought this one, which you know me and birds. So it's a pretty little bird house with some beautiful birds. Uh, yeah, I see pictures like that and I miss Ohio sometimes, but yeah. So that's really nice. Um, so, okay, now that finally is the last of the stuff that I have. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a very 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 nice fantastic upcoming week i'll see you next sunday where i hope to do a finished book uh coloring book video and uh that's it for today live long and color and we'll see you next time Bye bye